IVF treatments have resumed after a public backlash forced the Andrews government to reverse a ban. The backflip is providing hope that other day procedure surgery may also be reinstated, but the outlook for others is bleak. Days after Melanie Swyconic's viral video revealed the pain of IVF patients. So I am begging, I am begging you, I am on my knees, please. The time critical treatments have been reinstated. I get to start my cycle um, and when we take that first injection tonight is, um, is when it will really start to sink in. Yeah. It's amazing for all our fertility community because finally, finally, IVF might be considered in another category and it's not elective. IVF was caught up in a blanket ban on elective surgery until the Chief Health Officer conceded a halt on fertility procedures wouldn't ease the strain on our hospital system. I apologise for any distress, for any concern. Uh, it's never easy. It's never easy in such challenging times. But other Victorians like Natasha Kovacevic are still anxiously waiting. Surgery this week to remove precancerous cells has been cancelled with no indication when it will be rescheduled. I'm a single mum, I've got a three-year-old son and, you know, I'm all he has. So it's really important that I am healthy and, you know, we're at a position where it's, it's like nobody cares and my life matters as well. The director of surgery at the Alfred Hospital maintains urgent category one operations that must be undertaken within 30 days are not being cancelled. Those surgeries are going ahead. It's true that we may have to reschedule them from time to time, say if people ring in sick on the day. There hasn't yet been one occasion where we haven't been able to offer people care they need. Almost 22,000 new cases and 15 deaths were recorded today. 1,206 COVID patients are in the state's hospitals. The Premier says other day surgery procedures are currently being reviewed and could also resume. Doctors warn there's no time to waste as waiting lists are growing by the day. There's going to be a massive backlog and there's going to be a massive cost to people's health if we don't keep going in some shape or form. Jade Vincent, 7 News.